I want to say about five or six days later in detox that uh, when the public defender had gotten a hold of me that it was more serious than what I thought it was. After hitting rock bottom and waking up one morning in jail, a Tucson man turned his life around thanks to a local program aimed specifically at domestic violence offenders. The men's education program is a combined effort between Pima County Adult Probation and the Emerge Center Against Domestic Abuse. Now, Kelly News 13 Soma Science has been tracking this program for several weeks now, and he joins us now with a story you'll see only on KOLD News 13 tonight. Well, thanks a lot, Teresa. Domestic violence, a huge problem across our country, and Tucson is certainly no exception. At least 12,000 calls for help every year in this community alone. And that's only the cases where victims or witnesses had enough courage to call. Even if it's the smallest step, I wanted to apologize to my significant other for the actions that I had done and then hopefully the others that I might have hurt in the process. Charles Velasco Jr. has come a long way. Last August, he was arrested and charged with multiple counts of assault and domestic violence against his girlfriend. She did have a badly bruised eye and it was uh, black for like a month there. Going to jail and getting himself sober was one thing, but realizing his mistake and owning it made all the difference. Take it from me, you know, I'm a better person since I've been in the class. He's talking about public-private education courses offered through Pima County Adult Probation. We wanted to have them orient men within their first 30 days of being sentenced. In the Emerge Center Against Domestic Violence. It's not just about you've gotten in trouble, here's how you um, pay for that. Right here in Pima County, we have about 700 active cases. It's really about certain behaviors that have been used, choices that have been made, and how can we change that? For years, domestic violence was that dirty little secret nobody yeah, really talked about. Off. But that's changed with one punch from an NFL player caught on tape. The Ray Rice and Janae Rice um, case is what has really shifted national attention around this issue. But again, having video of the crime as opposed to somebody just talking about it took away the ability to minimize it. Oh, the power and control wheel. Today, men convicted of domestic violence talk about this case and so much more. They learn that DV is more than just violence. It's about controlling somebody through threats and intimidation. I am and always will be a person who gets what he wants. The goal is identifying triggers and changing behavior. Maybe we're getting into an argument and I don't like where he's going. I start punching, I start getting real animated. For 75% of those here, that's exactly what happens. But yes, Charles Velasco is nearly halfway through 36 court-ordered classes. He's got a job and will soon have his first apartment. So it'll be the first time in my life where I've actually taken care of something myself. That's why he's 100% behind the program that's changed his life in every way. I know that it's for the better and you know what I'm doing right now is the best thing for everybody and myself. Wow, and so as you just showed us, we know that there are programs out there for people who commit these crimes, but what about the victims or anybody else who'd like to learn more? Very good question. Most of the people in these classes are court ordered, so they're there as part of their probation, but anybody can come and ask questions, and they can do so by contacting adult probation or going directly to the Emerge Center Against Domestic Violence. Again, they have a 24-hour crisis response line plus a ton of information and resources online. You see it right here in Emerge Center. Dot org. A lot of great resources available for anybody in our public. Yeah. It's just a matter of reaching out. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much, Sam. So.